project in our worship is about weather and a promise. Does Florida have really weird weather? Who got, who got big storms today? Anybody get big storms today? Yeah, with some lightning and stuff. I had some big storms going through. Well, imagine living in the biggest storm ever. And that's found in Genesis. And his name was Noah. And the story in Genesis says that the world was so awful. Everyone was so hateful and they were so mean and they were so ugly. God says, I got to start over again. Everyone here is just horrible, except for one man and his family. And what was his name? Noah. And he said, Noah, build a huge, 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 huge boat. And I'm going to put you and the animals and your family in there. And he did. Noah built and built and built for many, many years. 40 years, day and night and weekends and holidays. And he built sawing, all this stuff. And then one day, and you know what? The people back then had never seen rain before. So when Noah said, it's going to rain, they're like, well, it's rain. I don't know what rain is. And then you're like an idiot. And Noah's like, no, really, God said. So one day the clouds started coming. Like today, did you see blue clouds, like dark ones? And they start rumbling in. Did you see it like this weekend? It rumbles in and the lightning is like, pow, pow, like this, right? And Noah said, get in the ark. And God said to the animals, out of all, get in the ark. So everyone got in the boat and an angel closed the big door and it started to rain. And it rained that night and the next night and the next night and the next, and the next, and the next, 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 next. Anybody remember how many days and night it rained? How many, Shelby? 40. You got it. 40 days and 40 nights. It never stopped raining. Oh. And it started to flood and it lifted that boat up. And all the bad people that made fun of Noah and didn't get in the boat, well, they got washed away. I think that even though Noah really trusted in God, it still had to be a little bit scary. When that big boat lifted up and the waves are going back and forth and the rain and the rain and the rain and finally it stopped and Noah and his family looked out and all they could see was water. And they could hear the elephants trumpeting and they could hear the horses neighing and finally the water went away and the boat sat back down on dry land. And an angel opened up, and can you imagine the animals? They'd been in the boat for weeks and weeks. How fast do you think the animals ran out? Right? Out they go. And Noah and his family came out, and Noah said, God, while that was amazing, thank you for, for saving my family, but how do I know you're not going to, how did I know this isn't going to happen again? And God said, I'm going to send you something very special at the end of a storm. It has lots of colors. It's in the sky. What is it? Shout it out. A rainbow. And our Bible verse said in Genesis 9, 8, God told Noah and his family, I solemnly promise you. Solemnly means I'm serious. This is serious promise. Not like, a, oh, I promise. It's a serious promise. That you and your children and the animals, I'm promising everybody I will never destroy the world again with a flood. I'm going to show you this promise with a sign. I have put my rainbow in the clouds. Do you know that every time you see a rainbow, it's like God sending you an email or a text? A rainbow is God's text that says, hey there, I'm still here. I promise I love you and I'm going to take care of you. Isn't that amazing? So today our worship was about weather, the big storm and the rainbow. And our science is going to be about making a rainbow in our glass. So you get ready 
Mr. Ben, pull that back. I have to go see if the mad scientist is ready. I will be right back. Sing, Mr. Ben. Do, do, do. and adventurers, welcome to our crazy science lab. Did you have a good worship with Miss Julie? Did you learn about the rainbow being God's text to you that he promises he loves you? Well, we're gonna make a rainbow and we're going to talk about something called osmolality. Say that, osmolality, there is my helper. Von Mindified, all right? <laughs> Osmolality means how much solid stuff gets dissolved in liquid stuff. Okay, Eric, I see you, put your glasses on. So here's what I need to do. Do you have four glasses? One, two, three, four. Let's get your glasses out there. I can't see through them. Um, and do you have spoons to stir your glasses with? Or forks. Or forks. Can you put that to the side, Mr. Ben? Yes, ma'am. So here's what we're gonna do first. Each glass, we've got about two cups of warm or hot water. I want you to put half a cup in each of your glasses. Okay? One in this glass, half a cup. And here we have half a cup. Okay, are you pouring in? Here we have half a cup. How are you guys doing? How are you doing, Shelby? All right, Eric, how are you doing? And girls, I'm so glad you're able to watch and you can do it at home which is awesome. Shelby and Eric and Mindy, if you could unmute yourselves. Emma and Zyla, we're gonna have to leave them on mute. Can you guys unmute? That way I can talk to you. All right. Um, Eric, do you, do you have four glasses? Hi girls, by the way. Hi girls. Shelby, do you have four glasses? Do you have water in them yet? Yes, we do. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is take your colors. Do you have your colors? In the first one, I want you to put, uh, there you go, Miss Mindy Von Mindyfied has colors down there. I want you to put some blue in the first one, like put like three or four drops in it, like lots of drops, it's way fun. All right, in the second one, we're gonna put green. How many, how many drops? Like a bunch, till you like it. I actually do a couple of squirts because it makes me happy. <laughs> All right, and then we have... So then it's green, then what? And then yellow. Okay, okay big bunch of yellow. And then red. Blue, green, yellow, Red. All right, I'm gonna stop until everybody gets their green, blue, yellow, and red. Which are some of the colors in the rainbow, right? Oh, that's beautiful, Miss Von Mindyfied. It's wonderful. Oh, no, I don't. Okay. All right. I can look through them. I have a hard time doing stuff with those glasses. All right. With my eyes that way. Has everybody got all their colors in? I put too much. I've got my colors in. It's okay. There's never too much, Eric. It's all good. So here's where we're going to study about when you put solid stuff into liquid stuff. So I want you to get your tablespoon here. You got a tablespoon? Eric, you got a tablespoon? I want you to put two tablespoons of sugar into your red. 
Okay, two tablespoons of sugar into your red. Then two tablespoons, exactly, Miss Von Mindified. All right, in your yellow, I want you to put four tablespoons. Ready, one. Yellow has four. Yellow has four. Two, three, four. In the blue, I want you to put six tablespoons. Six. In, oh, sorry, into the green and put six tablespoons. One, two. Green has six. Three. Four. Five. Four. I won't count out loud because that'll get you confused. How is everybody doing? Green is six. Green is six. Green is six. What are you doing, Eric? What is blue? And blue is going to be eight. So it has the most solid stuff. What? What, Josh? Two. Pick it up. How's Eric doing there? Three. Four. Wait. So two in the red, four in the yellow, six in the green. What am I at? The six. Seven. And eight in the blue. Four. Yeah. Green is six. Green is six. Hey, and blue is eight. And then put spoons in and stir it up until the sugar dissolves. That's why it's easier if it's um if it's a little bit warm like hot do you have four colors shelby okay here's my blue and here's my green and stir them all up until that sugar is pretty much dissolved dun, 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 dun. don't drink this it will melt make your mouth colors oh yes How's it doing? Is it dissolving all up? Von Mindified, how is yours? Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay. All right. So, which one of these do you think is heavier, is more dense? Which one did we put the most sugar in? Did you put the most sugar in the blue one? So this one has the highest osmolality. So here's what I want you to do. Take your clear cup, whatever your little clear cup is you're using, and your pipette, which looks a lot like an eyedropper, and take your blue and start filling up like a couple, like until you have a nice layer of blue in the bottom of your glass, okay? Just sort of, pinch it. pardon? You can actually pour this too, but I forgot uh -huh. that. That one. Okay. Is it big enough? Yes. It's, it, you can, it can be small. It just needs to be sort of, if you get a big wide one, it's harder. Okay. We're gonna probably need your light on your phone. At some so point. how many? Sorry, until happy. you want a nice layer, until you're happy with about your layer. About a half inch. How about a half inch or so? This is your first layer of rainbow. Let me see. Anybody got a layer of rainbow they want to show me? Here's my layer of rainbow. Do you have a layer of rainbow, Shelby? Um, no, I just started. Oh, okay. I'm going to let you guys get it. Eric, do you have a layer of rainbow in your glass? Is what? It's two one. I 
Blue. That looks blue. Is that good or no? Yeah, get, just get it so it's like about that much, like a half an inch. All right. The next dense layer is going to be green. How many tablespoons? Remember, we put eight tablespoons of sugar in the blue. We only put six in the green. So this is the part that you got to be careful about. I want you to take this and don't squirt it right into your blue. Put it on the side and sort of let it dribble down. Okay. Put it on the side, that's good, and let it dribble down. Yep, let it dribble down the side of your glass and put two or three pipettes. Can you guys see? Is it looking beautiful? Does it look sort of like that? See my blue layer at the bottom? And my green layer is next. Put some more green in there. I can put some more green in. So take that green. The big thing is don't like just squirt the green because then it'll mix up. We don't want it to mix up. We want it to have beautiful rainbow layers. So why does the green sit on top of the blue? Which one is heavier? Which one has more sugar? The blue, right? So it sinks to the bottom. The green is the next biggest sugar. And so it's going to sit on top. There you go. The important thing, Shelby, is when you squeeze it, put it on like the side and let it run down. And then it won't get all mixy up. Oh, okay. You see sort of how it's sitting on top of the blue? How are you doing, Eric? Isn't that cool? Is your sitting on top, Eric? I was making it slide down. Perfect. Perfect. It, it, it turned into this. Well, put it down and we'll, we'll do the next color. The next color is going to be yellow. That's better, the sideways. So let's put yellow on top of the green. Do you want a smaller, smaller cup? Way smaller. A smaller cup is easier. Oh, yes. You're getting the perfect Oh, Miss Mindy, look at yours. It's beautiful. Can you see the colors a little better with the white behind it? I can. We're making our own rainbow. Here you go, Mr. Ben. Show. Well, I've got yellow going in now. You can see, you have to be quiet. Yeah, be quiet. I want you to shine it on my glass. She's gonna stay here, but she's gonna be quiet. I want you to shine it on my glass. She's gonna be quiet, right? I can really see it like that. Do you see the rainbow? Do you see the rainbow in your glass? How about you, Eric? Are you seeing a rainbow? Yes, but I just got a warning about my computer is going to die in 15 minutes. Well, that's okay. We'll be done in 15 minutes. All right. And the last color we're going to put in, which is our lightest, don't stir real loud, whoever's stirring. All right, our last color we're gonna put in is our lightest one, because we only put two tablespoons of sugar in. That's gonna be our red. So let's dribble some red on the very top and watch it sit on top of the yellow. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Can I see your phone, Mr. Ben? It's right there. All right, how is your rainbow? Okay, I see Shelby's rainbow. I sure do. That's I beautiful. I see it. I only just see it to make sure. So let me show you when you put one on top of another. Do you see my rainbow here? Here, you shine it up there. Like this? No, just shine it on the side. Okay, guys, can you see the colors in my rainbow? Blue, green, yellow is a little harder. Do you see red at the top? There you go. 
How are you doing, Eric? Mine just went to the bottom. Yeah, so always didn't work. What? Really? Did it all go to the bottom? I think no, and then the green, it just turned, when I put the green in from the side, it um, all just... Okay, look at theirs. There we go. And this is another one you can try again at home. So the blue is the heaviness, so it's at the bottom. The green is the next heaviest, and then the yellow, and then right at the top, you can see my red. How are you doing, Miss Mindy? Do you have a, you, it looks like you have a beautiful rainbow there. I am, I do. I have Where's a little, um, detergent? What, honey? Huh? Are we supposed to put dish detergent? Nope, just sugar. So when you do it again, put two, four, six, and eight. Did you put dish detergent in? Maybe I should put a little more in the blue, maybe? The blue maybe would... A little less. Yeah, and you know what? You can always start over because it's so easy to do with the sugar. So this shows us, this is physics. This is our chemistry, which says that the heavier it is, the more sugar we put in, it should sink to the bottom. What do you think, Miss Donna? What do you think? Do you think it was it stirred, or what do you? Why do you? What do you think happened there? I'm not really sure, so we'll try it again. All right. Uh, yeah, no, oh yeah, it was because I was think it wasn't stirred. Okay, perfect. And now you're going to end up with a beautiful <laughs> rainbow. Eric, how is yours, buddy? Oh, is it doing good? No? Hey, where's Daddy? Tell him to come in and take a look at it there. So, as you're looking at your beautiful rainbow, we need to remember, and I'm going to let you guys do your beautiful rainbow here. Da -da -da, there's my rainbow. There's Miss Mindy's rainbow. Let's remember that the rainbow is God's message to... Zyla and Emma and Shelby and Eric and Miss Von Mindified and Miss Julie, the mad scientist, and Mr. Ben and everybody that he loves us and he protects us and he remembers us because he did not have to put such a big, beautiful thing in the sky there. All right. All right is it working? Yeah, now it's working. Excellent. All right, and Eric, we can try it again this weekend, too, if you guys can't get it to work. All right. Pathfinders and Adventures. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful, Miss Von Mindy Fight. It's wonderful. Now, every time you look at the rainbow, you say, I love you, too, God. Okay? Say, I love you, too. How's, it, how's hers doing there? You're going to send it to me? Excellent. And Eric, you got some great colors mixed up there. And girls, I'm so glad you joined us from the pizza place. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that rainbow. All right, guys, it's time for us to go until next week when we have another crazy science and amazing worship. And remember, this week when you see a rainbow, say, love you too, God. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Love you too. I love you. Bye-bye.